Alright guys, how's it going? It's Gaz here on MUFC Daily for Full Time Devils, bringing you all the latest Man United news and Manchester United fan opinion. I say the same thing every time, you know what I'm going to say. Let's get straight on with it anyway uh, and talk about the latest Man United news. Now first, a youngster that we are apparently interested in. 19 years old, from Everton. His name is Joe Williams. So he's cemented a place in that Everton under-21 team and it's, he's been pressed so much that apparently Manchester United are interested in him. So I'm all for this, uh, you know, improving the under-21 squad, keeping him in Man United traditions, bring it on. Uh, I know a few people will be going like, no, why are we going for young lads when we need ready-made talent? It's not how it works, you know, we can have someone scouting him and then we can also have someone scouting the best in the world. It doesn't affect that in any way. I'm quite happy about us bringing a young lad in, like I say, keeping him in Man United traditions. And hey, Manchester United signing a young guy from Everton. When has that ever worked in the past? Right, moving on from that um, and talk about one of our goalkeepers that has actually been recalled from loan. So his name is Joel Castro Pereira. A lot of you guys will know of him. He was supposed to return on the 3rd. Now, we've recalled him early from the 3rd of January. We've recalled him now. Now, some people will be thinking, like, why? What is the point for a few days? The only reason I can think of that is that there's definitely going to be a goalkeeper going out on the 1st or 2nd of January. So, my bet would obviously be on Victor Valdez. Uh, he's never going to be involved in that Man United team again after his fallout with Louis van Gaal. So, I can imagine that he is going to be leaving. However, Sergio Romero, of course, doesn't really get a game anymore. He's always on the bench. I can't imagine that he's too happy about that. So, he could be leaving as well. Can't see both of them leaving, though. I think one of them's definitely gone. My money's on Victor Valdez. So, Pereira's been called back just so we do have a third-choice goalkeeper over those two days because there's no point taking risks. We don't want Wayne Rooney in net. He's already playing too deep as it is. Right, moving on from that to a, a very nice story, actually. A nice story about the club doing something nice for one of its young fans. A uh, young lad called Zion. Uh, he's a contributor for full-time Devils. He's been on quite a few times after the games. Absolutely top kid. He's a mad United fan. And he had this big autograph book of all the United players that he spent a year putting together. It was absolutely amazing. And then it got pinched by some... Some knobhead, basically. Some knobhead just pinched this, uh, this this great book that he had. And obviously the kid was absolutely devastated. Uh, it made the news and all that. Anyway, Manchester United have awarded him with a new one, with even more signatures, even more pictures of the players. And how awesome is that? Really nice to see. And I'm sure the young lad Zion is absolutely made up. So props to Man United and props to Zion as well. Um, anyway, moving on from that, uh, let's go on to James Nesbitt. Now, you tell you what, that is something I never thought I'd say on Full Time Devils. Now, let's go on to James Nesbitt. Anyway, James Nesbitt, Irish guy, actor. If you say Irish guy, actor, I think the first person you think of is James Nesbitt. Um, anyway, he's hosting the Ballon d'Or ceremony. I know, how random is that? Um, yeah, he's hosting the Ballon d'Or ceremony uh, soon. And he's basically said that he's going to try his best to get Cristiano Ronaldo to rejoin Man United. Because he is a massive Man United fan. James, if you can do that, mate. I'll, I'll buy all your movies. I'll watch all your adverts. I know it'll probably take me about 36 years, but I'll do it. Anyway, guys, I've been Gaz for Full Time Devils on MUFC Daily. I think this is going to be my last video of the year on YouTube because um, I'm in Amsterdam over the weekend, over New Year's. So, guys, have an absolutely top New Year's. And thanks if you've watched any of our videos over the year. If you've liked them, if you've disliked them, if you've commented abuse, if you've commented as praise, anything. Guys, it really means a lot. So anyway, I've been Gaz on Full Time Devils. See you in a bit. Ian Herbert in The Independent has written that Ed Woodward has spoken to Louis van Gaal and he's given him reassurances that the board are entirely behind him still. Now, I'm not sure how I feel about that. 